met another doctor who does stem cells, Dr. Luis Romero. He treats his patients with adult stem cells from their own body. There are for each CC 25 million stem cells for each CC from bone marrow. To Romero agreed to treat our filmmaker who suffers from asthma. Now we're going to start, okay? Okay, I've got a few Okay. Is that hurt? No. No pain? No. That needle is right into your oh, please, bone. Oh, please, Burton, don't tell me. It's fine. I don't want to know. It's, it's shut over. Up, I don't it's, want to know. Shut it's up. over. <laughs> Go away. That's fine. Okay. That's not hurt. I mean, okay. That's, that's just a minor irritable thing. Uh huh. Are you, what are you doing now? Sucking out? Or? He sucked it out. He's got one almost totally with 20 cc's of bone marrow. What's it look like? It's red, just like blood. Yeah. It looks like grape, uh, Welch's grape juice. Now he's taking 20 cc's at a time, times 25, which is 450 million stem cells. No, not yes. 500, 500. And just the bone marrow rebuild itself. Yes. Ouch. That will be all, okay? That's, that's all it? the pain you're going to suffer. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's not bad. Huh? Can I go now? Yes. What were the various health conditions that improved with this technique? We are using a chronic disease and immune problems, as arthritis, osteoarthrosis, chronic fatigue, Alzheimer, Parkinson, um, lupus, uh, diabetics, um, multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis. Um, what else, George? Fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia. Lyme disease. Lyme disease, I think. Uh, that all of these patients can be received this kind of. So thing. basically. This is not only for diseases, no. but if one wants to stay young and beautiful for a longer time, yes. this enhances the immune system yes. and helps the skin and the regeneration, uh, regeneration of all systems of the body that have been impaired. You're right, you're right. Sometimes that treatment can cure 100%, but if done, it's the best adjustment treatment in addition to other things, other things. like yes. detoxification yes. and nutrition and supplementation. More, more than that, more than that, because really have a healing process. Mm -hmm. It's a healing process. Whatever is the problem, it's going to heal. Then... Gone. That it? Over. That's it. No pain? No, not until um, The stem cells uh, will live, will live uh, last on the, on the body four months after to introduce in the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. And so every four months you recommend that another one for a total of three or four? That three, three treatments. Total of three treatments. Yes. But we don't know yet. We have to see every disease and every patient is different. Maybe some will be need more and others will be need less. Before the operation, Stefan usually had a, a peak flow under 200. You know, his, his lung capacity wasn't very good. He snored. He tended to be very um, stuffed up in the morning. Took him a long time to, uh, to surface in the morning. And he couldn't smell at all. So he had the operation on uh, a Wednesday. By Friday, he could smell a little bit. Um, I kept this diary. His peak flow was 250 on Saturday. On Sunday evening, it had gone up to 350. Uh, the following week um, was tremendously uneventful. But then after that, on the Monday, um, at Oakland Airport, he walked way faster than me. Now, this hasn't happened for years. I had to scurry to keep up. He seemed well. Also, he'd been saying uh, throughout the week that he could smell. But this time I noticed that he was smelling without uh, visual cues. I mean, anyone can say they smell coffee when it's under their noses. And by the Wednesday, which was two weeks from the operation, I wrote, hasn't snored all week or had to blow his nose or clear his throat in the morning. And he generally seems much better. He generally seems um, uh, more his old self. All the patients are improving a lot. Some ones are cured. 
Cure. Cure. Like what? No, no more medicine. 